Okay, so uh, I'm Vilas Snack, and this is what I do. This is called speed painting. Um, thank you so much for uh, inviting me here, and it's wonderful to be here. This is my first ever visit to Kanpur. I'm so excited that to, to be performing at IIT Kanpur. So thanks so much for having me here. I'll be doing a couple of more painting for you guys. You want to see a couple of more paintings, yes or no? <laughs> you guys can make a lot of noise, no problem at all. You guys can make much, much more noise than this, right? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, so this was the painting which I created uh, first time on Asia's Got Talent. How many of you have seen that? Oh my God. <laughs> all right, so that was bought by David Foster on the show itself. So that was an amazing experience for me. Uh, I'm a self-taught artist from Mangalore. And uh, which obviously means whatever you have seen now is all trial and error method of learning. Um, I was unfortunately, when I was a kid, you know, I say unfortunately, why? Because I was good in studies. I was a rank holder in Mangalore University, then Mysore University. So obviously, you know, the entire <laughs> the society makes you, you know, uh, feel that you should actually go ahead and, you know, join a company or just follow everyone's path than actually you know think what is your passion what is your dream in life my passion and my dream was always to become an artist but i as i said unfortunately i was also good in studies so you know like then i worked in bangalore for a couple of companies as human resource manager my profile when i was working for uh, i worked for ibm as well for about five years and uh, i got another job from another company for 200 percent hike so I had two offer letters in my hand, and you know that's when India's Got Talent reality show happened. That was exactly five years ago, and I had to decide between uh, double paycheck and all that, uh, a luxury of so-called you know permanent job versus something that you do not know what's going to happen in your life next. So I chose my passion. So I quit my job five years ago to pursue my dream and my passion, which is speed painting and leading a fantastic life you know i can tell you that it's it's a pleasure it's it's a pure joy to actually be able to do what you really love to do and to live your dream so i would encourage all of you youngsters you know to just do whatever you guys love you know whatever your passion is please go ahead and pursue that and uh, you guys want to see one more painting yeah do we have one more canvas guys <laughs> yes we do have another canvas can we Please uh, shift the canvas. How many of you paint here still? How many of you can paint or sketch? How many of you used to paint when you were kids? Oh my god. <laughs> Almost everyone, right? Yeah. That's why Pablo Picasso, you know, one of the greatest artists, he said, every child is an artist. He said, every child is an artist. The challenge is how to remain an artist once you grow up. So. <laughs> Uh, we have another canvas ready. Can we have track two, please? Thank you.
Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's why I love to perform in college shows. I mean, you guys make so much noise. You know, it's like, it's like a you know, hundred meter sprint. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you. You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this painting obviously, you know, will be, um, will be gifted to your call. So, I mean, it will be here in, somewhere in your premises. So, you will be able to see this every day. <laughs> so, thank you so much guys, thank you so much. So, as I said, you know, this is like a 100 meter sprint when I perform on stage and, you know, it requires a lot of energy and uh, concentration. But the energy that you guys give here may, by making noise makes lots of lots of difference you know when i perform on stage so thank you so much once again uh, are we done for the day or do you want to see one more painting <laughs> all right all right so um, this is a painting it's a tribute to one person uh, I, I, you know i'm i'm i was i'm like i've been lucky for the last 5 years for traveling all over the world it's been like after i quit my job I got to travel 26 countries in the last five years to perform in various stages, from meeting people like from Dalai Lama to Pele to six countries, presidents to prime ministers, including Modi ji and all that. But then there is one person, yeah, but then there is one person whom, I, you know, I walked up to him and asked for his autograph. I still have it in my home, nicely framed. And that person, I believe, is an inspiration and should be an inspiration for all the youngsters here. And it's going to be a tribute to that person. When I performed for him live, that was four years ago. And after my performance, there were some other performances. So I, I was watching him. He was sitting on the edge of his seat to watch others perform. And he did make a, uh, you know, uh, this one to actually, he, when he actually on, went on stage later to speak, he mentioned each and every artist's name, you know. They were all not really big artists, you know. None of us were like big artists at that point of time. And, but still, for his level, he made a point to encourage each and every artist, walk up to them, encourage them. So this is one person who is like, who is like uh, his childlike, because I have met him and I have experienced him. And he's an inspiration for all of us. So I'm going to end my performance for today by creating his portrait, a uh, tribute to uh, the great personality of India and uh, inspiration for all the youngsters. So thank you so much once again, everyone. This is going to be the last painting for the day. Guys, can we have one more canvas, please, on stage? I think we do not have a canvas, guys. What do we do? <laughs> all right. It's Do you guys have any question about the painting that I do? Live painting as any, anything as such? By the time they get the canvas. Oh, you have a question? Oh, yeah. You can tell me, please. For this one? OK, <laughs> good question. He's asking, yeah, we can tell. He's asking for this particular painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, for this particular painting, he has two questions. How much? practice I did, you know, how many hours of practice for that particular painting and then why I did it in that, you know, inverted way or whatever. So, uh, th two things. One, um, I wanted to make it a bit more interesting because this was, uh, whenever you make an architecture, like for example, if you are making Gateway of India upside down, you can easily make it, it is Gateway of India, even if it is upside down. So, I thought, you know, I have to turn it, tilt it not completely upside down, but 45 degrees, so that you know it creates an illusion, at least for the first few minutes, as to what's happening on the stage. So that was one thing. Practice, yes. Um, I have to practice a lot, especially for those reality shows that you would have seen Joker painting that I did on reality show that I practiced at least one and a half, two months for that painting. So which was like 50 to 60 times on the same size of canvas in my studio. So yeah, of course, a lot of paint. People ask me, like, what do you do with all the canvases? So what happens to all those, you know, 50, 60 paintings? What I do is I have like 10, 15 uh, canvases lined up. So I paint on all of that. And then I, you know, 
uh, once it dries, like it just takes 10 minutes to dry. Color black again. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then I can paint over that. So that's how I practice in my studio. Uh, but then for this particular painting, you know, your uh, library picture, um, I practiced only once on the canvas because I had other corporate shows. What happens when you have back-to-back -back shows? You have to concentrate for each event and you know customize for that. And obviously, what I was doing while coming in paint, I was doing some sketching on my uh, book so that I remember this structure. But that was pr pretty easy, guys, and that is amazing. I love the building, and uh, you guys are lucky to be in this can you know campus, which is so beautiful. So let's move on to the last painting for the day. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Track three, please. There is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, when there is an order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. I am not 
went for crawling because I have wings. I fly. I fly. I fly. So if you could please remain in your seats for a few more minutes, we'll begin shortly. <laughs> 